Hey, don't do that. Let me hit the camera. Ordered. Everybody say hi to Andy. <laughs> hi, Andy. Um, all right, guys, so we're going to get started. So it's Monday, so we're going to do our uh, lower body emphasis, squatting primarily. Um, we're going to go through a little warm-up right now. So we're going to do 10 Samson lunges. We're just going through once. 10 Samson lunges, 20 cow grazers. We'll do those five inchworms to push-ups in Spider-Man. So we'll start with five push-ups, then go to four, then three, all the way down to one. Uh, we'll stretch out our quads, our hips. And then um, you guys, I did this last week and typically we do those six, 12, 24. So six reps of movement one, 12 reps of movement two, 24 of movement three. Today, we're gonna go a little bit heavier. So there's gonna be less volume. So instead of six, 12, 24, and there's actually a typo in the programming. It says eight, 12, 24. Uh, it's actually going to be 8, 12, 15. So we'll do 8 reps, 12 reps, and then 15 reps. So we'll go a little bit heavier today. Um, so you need a dumbbell, yoga mat. You're also going to need like a box or a chair. Uh, I'm just going to use this bench. Um, you need something to step up on today. So uh, grab all your stuff. We're going to start in about 20 seconds. For the warm up, though, we don't need anything. Just our body. So, by the way, I uh, for this, and I typically do, but for the warm up, I leave you guys unmuted. So, if you have any questions or you just want to talk about something, just sit there and chime in, and then uh, we'll just continue to move through, okay? So, we're going to start with our 10 Samson lunges. So, we're going to interlock those fingers. We're going to go down to that back knee, okay? So, just come down here first. And I always go through this because I still see people messing up. Now, when you're doing this, your knee never wants to go past your toe. So I never want to see this. I want you to step out far enough so that when you press all the way forward, your knee is stacked directly over your heel. So we're going to press forward with our hips while simultaneously taking those interlocked fingers and palms, pressing it forward to the sky, and then lean over to whichever side you stepped out with, right? So I step out with my left, lean to my left, step out with my right. Eight my right. We'll do that for five reps each side, 10 total. So now we're going to go to our infamous cow grazers. We're going to keep that weight on our back. Front leg's going to be straight, toe pointed at the sky. Okay, so we can bend that back, that front straight, toe pointed back, and now touch that toe. There. We're going to do 10 each side, 20 total. Nicholas, mute yourself. What? seconds to catch up. So with this, my typical spiel, I don't have the tightest hamstrings in the world, but they're also uh, not the most flexible. So why? For me, I consider myself like an in-between me. So I always kind of get slightly wider than my squat stance. Okay, so just maybe right outside of my shoulders. I'm going to inch out, try to keep my legs as straight as possible. To my push-up position, I'm going to start with five push-ups, either for my toes or for my knees. From here, I'm going to kick that left leg up, elbow down, that's one. Right leg up, elbow down, that's two. Kick my feet back to that same position, come all the way back, that's one. This next time, I'm only going to do four push-ups. And if you haven't started, go ahead and do so. Now, three quick. 
push-ups. God, I'm so worn out. I feel like I'm already loose. And then two push-ups and one. Man, I can never get my elbow all the way down there to warm up. Last push up. Okay. A couple of you guys are still moving. I'll give you a little more time. Jeff, can you? Can you come generally closer? Because it's hard to hear you that far away. Can you hear me if I talk like this? Not, not very well. Oh, okay. How about now? But much better. Okay, I'll say a little closer. Think through the feedback, Peter. Okay, we all good? So now, let's all go down to the ground. Left leg straight, grab that right heel, pull to your right butt cheek. When you're doing this, I want you to take this hip flexor, drive it straight up to the ceiling while at the same time driving that knee down. So it's like this, come up and over with that right hand and we'll hold. Try to pull that heel as close to your butt as possible. Really squeeze that back right butt cheek. Switch. Ten more seconds. Keep that front leg straight, kick that back leg back. Come right up into that pigeon stretch. Very close to the camera. Tina, for a second, I thought you were still on the Spider-Mans and the push-ups. <laughs> it's like, come on, lady. That's not far-fetched. <laughs> exactly. Still on your Samson lunges. <laughs> All right, switch. Oh. All right. All right, dudes. I'm going to turn this fan on. It's like 100 degrees in there. If it's too loud or distracting, just tell me and I'll cut it and heat up and die. Um, okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Like I said, eight, 12, 15. Um, for the first set or for the first movement, the eight goblet squats. Now, the first two movements are gonna be tempo. Typically, it's just tempo during the eccentric part of that movement, but it's gonna be the eccentric and the concentric, okay? So what I mean by that is we're gonna grab our dumbbell. We're gonna lift it up so the head of the dumbbell is here and here, right up under our chin. The eight reps, we're gonna go three seconds on the way down. One, two, 
three, come right back up. One, two, three. So it's three seconds down and three seconds up. That's one. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's two. We're going to go all the way to eight. Cool? Um, ooh. Something just popped up. Okay. Second one. We're going to do stationary lunges, okay? So instead of like doing a normal forward lunge or reverse lunge and returning back to feet together, we're going to stay in that lunge position, right? So we're here. We're going to hold that dumbbell. If you have a lighter dumbbell, um, I'd recommend you doing that. If it's too heavy, just don't do the tempo. The tempo is going to be one, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. So 12 reps is actually 24 because I'm going to have you guys do 12 each side. So it's 12 here. Then we're going to switch. One, two, three, up. 12 on the right side as well. So eight goblet squats, three seconds down, three seconds on the way up. 12 and 12 stationary lunges, three seconds just on the way down. The last one, we're going to do 15 dumbbell sumo deadlift jump squats. Uh, if you're just tuning in too, there was a typo in the, uh, in the program. That's my fault. Uh, but it's just going to be 15, not 24. So we're going to stick with that lighter dumbbell, the one that we did those stationary lunges. We're going to hold it so now the dumbbells are east and west. Right, and we're gonna push our butt back. Jump, one, two, three. Your stance with this, if this is our normal squat stance, feet right outside of our hips, we're gonna get a little bit wider here, okay? Boom, and jump, okay? That first movement, right when you guys land, is butt back, okay? I don't wanna see you guys like this, because it's not a squat, sumo dead squat, okay? So we'll try to get that butt back. So it's going to be eight goblet squats, 12 and 12 stationary lunge, uh, 15 sumo dead uh, jump squats, and we're going to do that for five sets, okay? We're going to do this the same way we did last week. So it's going to be I go, you go. So you guys are going to do a round while I'm resting. I'm going to do a round while you're resting. And some of you are going to take longer than others. Uh, when the majority of you guys are done, I'm going to start. Okay, and then when I'm done, you guys can go. If you were someone who finished a little on the later end and you feel like you only got 45 seconds because I was so fast, uh, take your time and go uh, as slow as you want. The rest should generally be about 90 seconds here. Um, are there any questions? People, people, don't all speak at once. No questions here? All good? Well, wait a minute. Who's how do we know who's supposed to go first? You, well, who do you want to go first? You want to go first? You want me to go first? <laughs> you call like, it. You know? Is everyone home going and then you're just going by yourself? Yeah, it's I go, you go. I'm the I and you're the you. But there's no one else other than you who's the I. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> just me. Okay. Who wants to go first? You guys or me? You. Yes. I hate going second. When you guys are done and then you have to watch me, it sucks. Okay. I'm going to go first. I'll demo everything again. That way you guys will uh, know exactly what's going on. And if you need some water, need to grab anything, grab it now. I'm going to get started. You're all are muted. Go. Cool. Okay. Eight reps. One, two, three. Twelve. One, two, 
Oh, it burns so bad. Jeff, according to this, it's only three down and straight up. That is correct. Thank you. Oh, much easier. I know that because I wrote it and I just said it, but I momentarily forgot. Should not have ran today. Okay, holy crap. All right, jump squats, sumo. Time out. Oh, okay. Y'all are up. Eight goblet squats. Three seconds on the way down, three seconds on the way up. You're up. Uh. Remember when you guys go to those stationary lunges, 12 each side, like Peter said, because I forgot. Three seconds on the way down, then fire up, 12 each side. It totally spaced, are the lunges weighted or no? Yes, lunges are weighted. Thank you. Bill, can you hold that dumbbell up? Yeah. No, like this, right under your chin. Boom. Kilos in here. And when you guys are done, it's 15 sumo deadlift jump squats. No tempo on those. Keep that chest up, Tina. And when you guys are holding for the sumo jump squats, hold it left and right. Tina, down, down by your knees. There you go. And watch your fingers, guys. Good, Nick. And Peter, other Peter, Dorak is it? Is that how you say it, Dorak? When you're doing this, you are very hinged like this. I want you here, okay? So chest is gonna be slightly higher than your butt, okay? Keep that back nice and straight. Bill, can you hold that weight down like this? Next round, boom. All right, guys, I'm going to get started. If you're still going, no big deal. Ugh. Eight. And your rest, 
It's how long it takes me to do this. And I have a feeling this round is going to take very long. Come on, Steve, that was funny, laugh. <laughs> God. Ah. Guys are up. Nick, for the goblet squats, can you hold up in your front rack? Yeah, there you go. Good, Peter Dorak. Drive that right knee out a little bit farther on that next round. Remember on the stationary lunges, it's three seconds on the way down, fire up on the way up. Keep that chest up a little higher, Nick. Good. Yeah, you guys essentially want to be dropping straight down with those lunges. Do as I say, not as I do. It's another good one, Steve. Nice, Karina. Peter Durak, face that way. You see that back? Beautiful. A little lower if you can, other Peter McDowell. Beautiful. 
Dean, keep your chest a little higher at the bottom. There you are. All right. You're on just in time for round three, brother. So because our good friend Yoram just joined, I'm gonna kind of review this next round while I'm doing it. So it's three seconds on the way down, three seconds on the way up, eight goblet squats. Spawn. Right. And then ideally, if you have a lighter dumbbell, we're going to get in our split lunge position. It's three seconds on the way down, then fire up. So one, two, three stationary lunges, 12 each side. by far the hardest. Notice how sometimes I'm coming up to a fully locked leg, just kind of give myself a break without coming out of the movement. Uh, 12 each side. One, two, three, drive up. Then we're gonna to get to our sumo stance. Our feet nice and wide. Sumo, deadlift, jump squats. No tempo, 15 straight. Ten. Guys, don't start yet. I want to say something after this. When you guys are doing this, the pressure with your feet, right? If you're too much on your heels, too much on your toes, or on the inside, the more surface area you hit with your foot, the more muscles it's gonna activate. So if you're just on your heels or a little bit on your side, whatever, it's only getting about 50% of those muscles and those muscles are gonna be the only ones working, therefore getting fatigued a lot quicker. So you try to have a nice flat foot, heel, midsole, take those toes, dig them into the ground for all of your stuff, especially those lunges. Cool? Eight goblet squats, round three going in three, two, one, here we go. Nice, Joshua.
Karina, you are picture perfect, baby. Dean, chest up. Look straight ahead, brother. Chest up, wiener. Nice, Nick. Good, Steve. Try to string them together. Hit it, jump, go right back in the next one, even if you take it down slow. Beautiful. I'd rather you guys go back and forth, touch and go with those jump squats, rather than do three and break. Good job, Dorak. Get that Instagram, boy. <laughs> Good, Tina. Next round, try to keep your arms straight during those jump squats. Round four. Sometimes I gotta check to make sure I'm doing them right too. Weight is evenly distributed throughout my front foot, except for the times when I fall. Also guys, when you're doing those split lunges, I try to have my toes cocked in front. So this way I kind of have balance. If I'm like this, I'm gonna be a little off balance here. Front toe cocked in, back toe cocked in. Be a little more stationary. I just said that now to procrastinate these jump squats. It works, I feel good. Round four, guys, you're up. Going in three, two, one. Here we go.
Tina, can you bring your feet a little closer? Not, yeah, that's good. Beautiful. Perfect squat, Storak. Nice, Dean, a little lower. Oh yeah. Karina, same for you. If you can go a little lower on the next round, if your knees aren't hurting, go ahead and do so. Good job, guys. After this, we only got one more round. work. All right, dudes, I'm going to start. Last thing I'm going to say for all squatters, which is all of us, you should see feet, knees, hips. So what I was telling Tina before, feet were a little wide. So it was like feet, knees, and then hips. It kind of went in a little bit. You want to see feet, have your knees drive out, with your feet in between them, okay? So I'm gonna back up a little bit so you guys can uh, see my squat, but I want you guys to try to replicate this as much as possible. What I was talking about earlier about having a flat foot uh, and activating as much muscles as possible, when your feet are wide, you're working a little more internal or like the medial or the inside of your legs, opposed to when it's feet, drive those knees out, you're activating not only more muscles, but all the big muscles in your legs, okay? So it'll make you a lot stronger. Stay tuned. Okay. See how my knees drop way out past my toes. What is generally flat. Lunge.
All right. Woo. Last round, round five. Everybody pick it up. Going three, two, one. Here we go. Yikes. Good guys, when you get to your jump squats, normal routine, but when you get to a 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, I want you to jump as high as you can. Finish with a bang. Good, Nick, normal pace, then when you hit 10, you're taking off. There you go, get up high. Good, Dorak, when you get to 10, I want you to jump to the ceiling. There you go. Good, Tina, get up there. Good job, Peter. All right, it's something you guys can play. Real good. What's up, Kilo? Um, I hope you guys don't think you're finished. I guess you're not. Um, we got another little part. It's a little finisher, though. Um, so the way that this is going to go, so I, I think we do the same thing, right? So it's going to be four by 30, 30. So it's four rounds of 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. So I'll work for 30 seconds. And during my 30 second break, you guys will work for 30 seconds and we'll go back and forth. Huh? Cool. Movement? No, I'm just saying. What? Okay. Um, the movements. So for 30 seconds, I'm going to go overhead lunge with my right arm. I'm still going to alternate legs, but I'm going 30 seconds, overhead lunge. Cool. Then I'm gonna rest for 30 seconds, you guys are gonna go. Then I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna do 30 seconds with my left arm, okay? Then 30 seconds rest. Then back to my right arm, 30 seconds rest. Back to my left arm, 30 seconds rest. I'm not gonna explain the other movements because I wanna get started now. Does anybody have questions? So I'm gonna go first. Cool, I'll give you guys a countdown and everything. Let me set the clock. Don't you guys miss this cute little giraffe? 
Hey, Jeff. All right, guys, I'm going to go first. Starting 10 seconds. Holding with just my right arm. I'm going to snatch it up. Going three, two, one. Here we go. So this is an AMRAP. So I'm just trying to get as many reps as I can. Right after my 30 seconds, you guys are going, so don't go too far. Halfway. Seven seconds. You guys are going in three, two, one. Here you go. 30 seconds. Alternating legs, sticking with that right arm the whole time. Keep that pinky facing forward, thumb back, bicep pinch towards your ear. Seven seconds. Now I'm back up with my left arm in three, two, one. Here we go. Now you guys are resting. Ten seconds. Whoa. Five, three, two, one. Y'all are up. Other arm. If you guys have any shoulder problems, you can bring that dumbbell down to your shoulder and not keep it up overhead. Ten seconds. You're resting in three, two, one. I'm up. I'm back to my right arm now. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, you're up. Okay, Dave. Yeah, like 10 minutes. Okay. All right. Five seconds. Last round for me in three, two, one. Back to my last left arm for my last round. Ten. Five. Three, two, one, you're up, last set. Good job, Steve. Drive off that front heel. Ten seconds, guys. Five. Three, two, one, rest. All right, guys, so now we're gonna take like a minute. We're just gonna start when I'm finished explaining the next one. Um, so the next one's gonna be, hey, you're on. The next one's gonna be uh, goblet step ups, but instead of alternating, we're gonna keep that foot up there. So we're gonna go 30 seconds with our right foot, rest, then 30 seconds with our left foot, okay? So it's gonna look like this. We're gonna keep it up. Come up, down, up, down. 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. 
Cool? All right, I'm gonna start the clock. Double position, right leg up, three, two, one, three down. And bring that other foot up to meet it, but don't step up too early and then stand with both legs, all the way up with one side. Ten seconds. You guys are going in five, three, two, one. You're up. Dean, don't fall down those stairs. Ten seconds. You guys are resting in three, two, one. Switch legs. Try not to collapse on that bottom foot. Be nice and soft. Five seconds. Three, two, one, you're up. That's more good. Fifteen. Ten seconds. Five. Three, two, one. Right leg, halfway. Ten seconds. Last round going in three, two, one, rest. Fifteen. And five, three, two, one. Good, take a break. I'm gonna grab something, one second. Okay, now preferably, if you have a light dumbbell, use it. If you don't, don't use anything. 
We're only going for 30 seconds. So if you go really heavy here, you're not going to get any reps in like four or five. We're going to do weighted sit-ups for our last one. Okay. So we'll be here. Lay back up. That's one. Two, we'll go all the way for 30 seconds. If you don't have anything here, touch your heels, proud chest at the top, don't ground. Cool, so that'll be you if you don't have a light weight. First round, going 10. I'm starting. Three, two, walk, go. Uh, whoa. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. Don't spread out of the gate like I did. Bad idea. Right, make sure you go all the way back down to the ground, 10 seconds. In three, two, one, here we go. Round two of four for me, last movement. Five, three, two, one, go. Remember guys, we're going all the way back so our shoulder blades come back down to the ground. Five seconds. Round three for me going in three, two, one. Here we go. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, you're up. Halfway. Ten. Ride in three, two, one. Last round, then we're done. Five seconds. Three, two, one. You're up. Last one. Ten seconds. In three, two, one, and time. All right, guys. Whoa. I'm gonna unmute you guys.
Cool. Everybody, everybody live? Thank you. Yeah, dude. Hey, let's go back to that box or whatever you guys are stepping up on. We're going to pop that right foot up there. Right? Make sure your hips aren't open. Make sure they're squared right towards the, the end of that toe. You're going to hinge forward. Toe pointing straight ahead. Let's pull that toe up towards our chin. It's okay if your leg is bent too. So you can... Now let's slide that foot towards the edge of the box. The same way we're going to come in with that other hand. Play switch on to the toe, but you don't like it. Those wind chimes were amazing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, lay, lay the outside of that leg down. Come into that standing pigeon. Whose wind chimes are those? Show yourself. Uh, switch legs, right leg up, toe pointed away. You asked if we could pick on me? Yeah, he's good. Yeah, he can see you. Hi, Jeffrey. Say hi or bye. Toe up. Bye, Tina. Slide that foot to the edge of the box, pull yourself in, hips nice and close. Lay the outside of that leg down. Yeah. I should have just kept you unmuted the whole time. Yeah. All right, everybody stand up, grab onto something, or just lean against something. Right heel up towards your right butt cheek. Switch. Good. Everybody good? Yeah. Right, cool. So uh, tomorrow you got Noah at 10 a.m. for the, uh, as far as like dumbbell weighted stuff goes, you got Noah at 10 a.m. Uh, for the dumbbell workout. And then you got Arthur, 5 p.m. for butts and guts. Cool. Thank you. All right, dudes. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah.